Hey guys, welcome to day two of Vlogmas. Today is Monday, December 2nd. Um, I just got off work and I stopped by the store. I've never been here, it's called Dollar General. There's this um, toy that one of my coworkers was telling me about and I looked it up and I was like, that looks so cool. And apparently online it says that they have it here. So I'm gonna take a look, but right now, right now I'm actually looking at their food area because um, at work we have a holiday food drive. I don't know if I've ever really talked about it before. And so I've been researching kind of what the food pantry that gets, the, the food gets donated to, what they need, and then like where I can get kind of the stuff from. So things that they need and where I can get the food from where it won't cost an arm and a leg. So I thought I would test out their food here. They have some like cheap ketchup and stuff and barbecue sauce. So I'm gonna keep that in mind. I got a lot of this stuff already because my aunt donated a lot of stuff, but I thought I would just research a little bit more because like, oh, like this is something. I've been looking for cheap tuna. Um, they're 85 cents a can, so I could probably get like, you know, a few of those. This is pretty good pricing. They have Vienna sausages, which also, I don't technically know if they asked for those. I think they asked more for tuna and chicken but maybe I can pick up some of these too. The pricing's pretty good. Um, you know, they ask for like canned soup. They don't have a lot of canned soup here. Maybe it's, oh, it's probably down there actually. Mac and cheese, that's pretty good price. A dollar for a box of mac and cheese. And then here's the soup, two for three dollars. That's 150, that's not too bad. But they have like 70 cents right there, so keep all those prices in mind. Two for four dollars. So for two dollars, two dollars you get, how much is that? Two dollars, you get 12. Or they have beans here. I'm gonna get a bunch of, I already bought a bunch of um, vegetables from like Sam's Club and, um, well Sam's Club, but I, I can come here and get some peas, cause I, I didn't get peas. These are, only on sale until December 7th, so I might come back here and get some of the stuff, like carrots, sliced carrots. And then I found, they have beans, 35 cents, whatever that is, that's cheap. Or paste. They had canned beans at Target for um, um, 55 cents, I think, per can, so that's pretty good. I'll probably go back there. But they have some good stuff here. Okay, terrible news. So online it says they have them in stock. And they probably like got a shipment in in the back, but they, this is kind of like an old school store. They don't have any way of checking inventory. And apparently I was the third person today to come in and ask about it. So I was like, oh, it's probably because it says that you have them online. Um, but I have a cart stocked full of food items that I'm gonna pick up for the food drive. So I think this will be a good amount. I really tried to cover the things that they asked for. So they wanted peanut butter, oil, there's canned vegetables, seasonings, they asked for a lot of seasonings, so I got a mixture of salt, but like also some other seasonings that they had. Um, they asked for condiments, so I got like barbecue sauce. I'm gonna get ketchup from Target. And then these are some soups, some tomato soups, and I got some like honey and jam. So hopefully this will cover a lot of the stuff that they asked for. I mean, I know that it's only a few of each, but um, hopefully it'll help a little bit. All right, I decided to make a quick stop at Target because I purchased something for Maddie's birthday, which is, I think her birthday's on Friday, um, but they actually had it in the store, so I did the thing where you can buy it and then have it at the store, so I'm gonna pick that up. And then also online it says that this Target has some of the mini brand balls, so I'm gonna see if they have them in stock, and then I'm gonna hopefully pick up a few, but they're $10 here. At, Gen at Dollar General, they were listed as $6. That's probably why everyone went there to try to get them. So hopefully they have a few and I can try them out. Oh, Target! I don't think they're gonna be in this section, but I thought I would check it out. They really made the section small. I'm sad because they had, wow, look at, what are these? What is this? Two booster packs, a metallic Pokemon car coin. You can't even see it. And art showing in the tin. Look at these tins. 
Look at these Pokemon tins. These are so, look at this little Squirtle one. <gasps> Ooh, Mewtwo, Pikachu, and what was that? Vulpix, Vulpix, Eevee, there's Charmander. So these have two booster packs for $8.99. That's still, that's not bad, because a booster pack is $4, but you're probably getting a super old booster pack. You're not getting a new one, but these tins are super cool. Oh, for those of you who have like kids in your life, these tins are, <gasps> Is there only six different tins? Collect all five. It looks like there's hella tins. I feel like there's way more than five different ones. There's like way more than five different ones. Weird, okay, my battery's dying, hold on. Okay, back in action. I just saw this and I feel like Jackson would love this, but $30. But there's an autograph or relic card guaranteed in here. I don't know what else they have. They have, but that's, he's been really into wrestling. Gosh, just wrestling cards are so expensive. There's a lot of cards in here, but that's so expensive. Five dollars. Oh my gosh. Did they sell the whole pack? Here. This is the women's one, though. These are soccer. I guess not. I might have to try a few of these at one point, because they feel fun. But. There's, a, there's 20 cards in the pack. I guess that's a lot, though. That's a lot of cards. Okay, anyways. You know, first of all, there was only um, six of these different tins. I went through them all to count because I was obsessive like that. And then I just saw this. I'm going to do a price check to see if this is really $5 because this pack here, this comes with two small packs of the P Detective Pikachu, which are four cards each, but it also comes with a booster pack of Crimson Tide, Cinnamon Crimson Tide. So if this is only $5 for reals, that's a really good deal, and I might pick up a few of these. I really wanna start collecting the Cosmic Eclipse set. So this is three booster packs. They're about $4 each, so that would be $12. These are $12.99, so that's not terrible. Um, and then I also like these, the team up and the unified minds. I just like the peep, the designs on the cards, but I might pick up a few of these cause I have been trying to do uh, my advent calendar. I just have to get enough booster packs. That's all. $35 fates collide. I don't want fates collide. That's a boo boo set. I want the new sets. Anyways, I'm going to do a price check on this first and we'll see. We shall see. Okay, they got some different advent calendars. This one's cool, Lilo and Stitch. I think I might try to get this frozen one for um, Maddie and Audrey, but I don't know what their shoe size is. So I don't know if these are gonna fit them. I'm gonna put them in my cart for right now. They have some cool Star Wars ones, but I'm gonna hold off on that and a Marvel. I'm so sad because the girl's foot size is bigger than I thought it was. Ah, <sighs> which is so sad. Okay, I'm in the toy section now. I feel like I'm not gonna have good luck with this because I feel like this is like a hot commodity, whatever it is that I'm looking for. And I honestly don't know where they're gonna be, but there's so many like toys with balls in them. Like, look at all these ball toys. Look at all these ball toys, toys with balls. I'm looking for, I don't even remember what I'm looking for. What am I looking for? Mini, mini brand balls is what they're called. That's what I'm looking for, mini brand balls. Hmm, bloom dolls. I watched, I saw these on the, on the um, toy catalog. Burrito, no luck here. There's more bloom dolls. I don't really know what section they would be in. Awesome, awesome. Here maybe? Hatchimals. Hatchimals. Uh, oh, there's so much going on here, I can't even handle it. I can't handle it. Wow. This must be like a super hot commodity toy because this is the second place where they say they have it in stock online, but there's none on the floor. And I went to go ask them and they were like, oh my gosh, so many people have asked me about those. So I'm thinking that this might be a little bit harder to come by. I thought they came out a while ago, but I guess they might be new. 
So I'm just gonna have to keep looking because yeah, that was crazy. There's none anywhere. Um, all right, well, I didn't really come here to buy anything. I came to pick up something. I might get this Leland Stitch sock advent calendar because I love Leland Stitch, but I don't know if I really need this. And also, I just don't know. I was gonna get some canned beans, but I think I might wait. I might wait a little bit just to see if, um, I just to see like how much stuff I need to get, but I'm not sure. I'm so disappointed that I wasn't able to find that toy. Wow, that's crazy, that's crazy. Well, I think this is where it would normally live, right here, but I don't see it. So I'm gonna say that they are officially out. Okay, gotta look at the Funko Pop section. What are these things? Virtual racers, that's new. What do they have? What do they have? They had 10 inch Funko Pops for 50% off. So SpongeBob right now, looks like he's only $15. And I don't know who that is, but somebody else is only $15. Doesn't look like they have anything great. What's over here? We have all our 90s stuff, our pogs, our overpriced pogs. Darth Vader, no, oh. I want the one that's bigger, that is, um, it has, uh, it has TMNT, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. There's a Game of Thrones box. I'm not a Game of Thrones fan, but look at this backpack. That's cool. They have some different plushies. Pretty good, pretty good. Also, I did a price check on those Pokemon cards and they were $10, so I put them back because I don't need that. I don't need that. I decided I was gonna pick up a few more things for the food drive since they have all the beans here for 49 cents a can. And I also got some brown rice because they asked for brown rice. I might also pick up some tuna. The Market Pantry brand is only 85 cents. This is for the chunky light tuna. Um, they also have bumblebee for 99 cents a can and then I was thinking of maybe getting a few cans of the white chicken meat. God, I'm still sad that they ran out of the toy. Um, I think I'm going to officially put the advent calendar away because I just stocked the cart with a bunch of, these are all canned beans. So they had like all different types and then I still have the chili and the chicken or the chicken and the tuna and some brown rice but this is about one of these bags is, has a hole in it I can hear what bag was that it's this one I'm gonna put this one back I'll have to get a new one I'll put it uh, I should give it back to them and say it has a hole I'll put it up here um, so yeah this is about like 50 something dollars worth of cans but it's pretty good because it's 49 a can so two for a dollar Basically for vegetables, like corn and, and beans, I found that 50 cents is the cheapest. I got um, bulk from Sam's Club, but for beans, this is a really good deal, 49 cents a can. So I got all different kinds. There's red, uh, kid, red, knee, what? Kidney, red kidney beans, black beans. Um, I got a few of like the chili beans because you can just eat that and then there's like seasoned black beans and there's garbanzo beans and light red kidney beans and pinto beans and all the beans all of the beans I'm like legitimately sweating you guys. Oh my gosh So all of that which I know doesn't look like a lot that was 93 cans of food well it was like 93 minus five, because I did get five containers of ketchup, but the rest of that was all canned beans, um, there was some chicken and some tuna, and that all cost $49. And it was even a little bit less, I just paid for bags because I needed bags to carry all these, but that's not too bad. So if any of you guys are looking to try to get food for food pantries, they have a good deal on beans here, 49 cents a can, that's pretty good. That's like the best price that I've seen so far around. All right, it's so late and the line wasn't very long I'm gonna get myself an in and out because I haven't had in and out in a while and I'm hungry and but I'm not gonna do a double double sorry the guys bright brake lights are on in front of me so I'm red but I'm not gonna do a double double I am gonna do just a cheeseburger which is very rare for me but um, I don't really I'm not that hungry I just want something that I can eat a little bit of so that way when I get home I can do my advent calendars and potentially go to bed I'm not quite sure um, I've still been trying to kind of get over this kind of cold that I have 
but we'll see. We shall see. Also, my camera legitimately just broke. Like, it's not, the buttons aren't working. They work when I like every so often, so I'm gonna have to really figure this out a little bit because this isn't good. It's not stopping. Ah, no. How do I make it stop? I don't know. <sighs> I'm really sad about my camera, guys. Oh, this is gonna be a nightmare if my camera's not working consistently for Vlogmas. I could use my other phone, but I didn't really like vlogging on my phone. It's very difficult, very challenging. Anyways, um, for those of you who are wondering what I get from In-N-Out, I usually get a double-double, but today I just got a cheeseburger. I got it animal style, protein style, whole grilled onions, raw onions, extra pickles. That's that's my go-to order. Um, the Because I got a single cheeseburger, it's gonna taste like vegetables. Basically, my burger is gonna be all vegetables with a little bit of meat, but I'm okay with that. You can never have too many vegetables, I say. Um, but pretty successful trip, minus the fact that I can't find that toy anywhere. That's so crazy. I've never even heard of it up until today. I just was intrigued once I looked it up, so I'm gonna have to look around, but we got a lot of canned goods and a lot of food for the food drive, so I'm really excited about that. Oh my gosh, you guys, I didn't even pick up, I didn't even pick up the, the toy that was waiting there for me to pick up for Maddie's birthday gift. Oh my God, I can't believe I forgot that. Are you kidding me? I'll have to go back maybe tomorrow and get it. <sighs> Epic fail, no, no. What was I doing? Oh my gosh, the alert kept popping up on the app too. I was looking for things on my app, on my Target app, and like, the alert kept, don't forget to pick up your thing, don't forget to pick it, and I was like, okay, remind me later, remind me later, I can't believe I forgot that. That was the whole reason I went to Target, guys. Literally to pick up that toy that I purchased online to pick up in store. Classic Target trip, where you go in there for one thing and you end up with everything other than the one thing that you went in there for. So disappointing, I'm so disappointed in myself, ugh. I was gonna try to wait till I got home, but, I'm gonna pull over and eat now. So here's my basically all veggie burger minus, um, well actually that's what it is. It's a it's a single patty, I usually get a double-double protein style so there's no bread, it's just lettuce. I've got um, whole grilled onions, which not many people know you could do instead of the chopped up onions. I got regular onions and then I got extra pickles. So I'm really excited to eat this bad boy. I also usually get some salt and pepper and I like to sprinkle it on my burger because I like salt and pepper. Mm. This is the aftermath. I totally could have gotten a double-double or even two singles. That was so delicious. I'm um, watching It's Judy's Life. I love that show or that YouTube channel. Oh, cool. What's that crazy flashing light on my phone? What is that? Oh. I don't know what what is that guys? Does anyone know? Something on my phone is flashing. Anyways, the only thing about getting protein style, I got, it's super messy. I mean, I think in and out in general is already messy, but it's really messy when you get protein style because there's no bread to soak up all the sauce, but it was still delicious, so good. All right, time to go home. Okay guys, I'm home. I'm not gonna lie, I started to lie down and I was like, no. I started to try to research if I could find the the mini brand balls or whatever they're called, the Zuru five surprise mystery balls somewhere close and every website is sold out. So I think that's crazy. Anyways, let's go ahead and do our advent calendars. Um, you know, that when I went to Target today, they had another Harry Potter one that was different. It said Quidditch on it and I was like, what? So I'm wondering if all of these Harry Potter sock calendars are gonna have the same freaking design socks. Hopefully not, but we're gonna check it out anyway. So I cut the tape off all these. There's so much tape on all these calendars. Here's calendar, uh, Harry Potter calendar number one. I have Hedwig on the front. And these are all women's calendars. She says four to 10. So like I said, they had technically, I think they had four total um, Harry Potter calendars. I'm hoping these aren't the same, but I really, I honestly don't, I don't know. I can't say for certain. Okay, let's see what number one has for us. Oh, these are cool. So these are crew socks. They're red with black and gold. It's like um, Gryffindor colors and you have the Harry Potter 
um, glasses. I like those. I really like those. And good news, guys. Chris saw my Vlogmas from yesterday, and she said she did like those cat socks. So I'm going to give those to her. Okay, here's the second calendar. You have Hogwarts Castle on the inside. You have the crest on the front. Um, all right, do you guys think this is going to be the same or different? I can't, I kind of can't imagine them having this many different calendars, which means I think these are all going to be the same. So, let's see. Oh, no, they're different. Oh, weird. I kind of now want to go to Target and get that other one just to see. Okay, so these are crew socks. They're Gryffindor socks, so they're the red or scarlet or whatever color with the gold Gryffindor, and it has just the, the Gryffindor crest. Oh, man. I think I might go to Target and get that fourth Harry Potter calendar just because I'm interested to see what kind of designs it can have. Okay, this is the third Harry Potter sock calendar. We have Hogwarts. Um, Hogwarts again. Oh, this looks very similar to the last one. Now, on day number one, we have Snape. Ow, these things are so hard to press. Ow. Ow. Ooh. Oh, look at these. I love these guys. I love these. These are another pair of crew socks. They're checkered, and it has the HP Harry Potter symbol. Ooh, okay. Those are pretty dope. Since I forgot to actually pick up the toy that I bought, that I was supposed to go pick up today, I think I might go back tomorrow, well, to pick it up, but I think I might get, if they still have it, because they are selling out, I think I might try to get the HP socks that had Quidditch on the front, just to see what those designs are. Unless they were men's socks, then maybe I won't, because I like the women's socks a little bit better. Okay, on to our toy advent calendars we're gonna go backwards this time uh or just in whatever order these were stacked in so this is our harry potter lego and we are gonna do oh it's upside down so yesterday i had the harry figure which i put back in there for right now because i don't want it to get lost in my room um we're going number two today oh and we have a hogwarts express train or at least part of it so let me build it really quick and then i'll show you the cool thing about these is that they give you the instructions on the actual box i guess the bad thing about that is is who wants to save this box for that long so if you kind of take these apart then you have to save the box or else oh, or else you're not going to know how to build it these instructions aren't very good if i'm being honest like i mean i'm an adult so i can figure it out but if I think if honestly if I was a child I think I think I might be confused they don't really show you the pieces all that well like I mean I knew to put the little piece that had the little connector on the red but if I was a kid I'm not quite sure if I would have like understood that usually Legos are pretty like good about making sure that they are like the instructions are good but yeah, I would say that that one gets a little bit a little bit of a fail on that one because it's it's not that great. I forgot how much I love building Legos. I actually have that Spider-Man Lego set that I still need to build for myself, and um, it's in my closet. So I think once I set up my table, I might start building that. That was the other honestly. That was the other reason I got. I wanted a table in my bedroom is because I wanted to be able to, I've already built this wrong. These instructions aren't very good. Anyways, yeah, I wanted to get a table in my room specifically because I wanted to be able to build Legos if I'm being completely honest with you guys. So I'm excited to build that table so that I can also build Legos in my room. Oh man, I'm doing a very poor job on this. Oh, and it keeps breaking, oh, so frustrating. Honestly, I don't really know where I went wrong here because I built it. Here's what I built. I mean, that looks pretty close to that, but for some reason I have all these pieces left. Not really quite sure where those go. Do you think that some of these black pieces, like this one, do you think it goes in between the red? Because that line is a little bit darker. I mean, I guess so. And then there's like an extra set of wheels and an extra cap and an extra flat piece. I'm not, I don't, I don't really know, actually. 
Okay, that's gonna frustrate me. I'm gonna just I'm gonna put it back in here for now because these extra pieces are gonna fluster me. I hate unless they tell me I'm gonna have extra pieces. I don't like having extra pieces because that means I messed up somewhere. Okay, that was frustrating. Let's go into our Harry Potter Funko Advent Calendar. Number two is ooh, is that Ginny? I think this is Ginny. I'm assuming from the Yule Ball. Are we just going to get a bunch of Yule Ball characters? I kind of want to look up spoiler alerts, but I'm not going to because that's going to ruin the fun for me. But I'm interested now to see what kind of characters we're going to get. Right, I'm pretty sure that's Ginny. Put her back in there. We have our first Marvel one. I don't know which one this is. I don't know if this is the GameStop exclusive or the regular. But we have the Captain. I don't ridiculously dislike the captain anymore. He's still not my favorite, but he's actually pretty cool in this form. Oh! <gasps> Ooh, my cousin Jess would love this. I feel like I might need to save one for her and then send it to her. Let's see if this one has the same one or a different one. If it has the same one, I think I might try to send this to Jess. Oh, it does. So I think I'm going to save this one. I'm not going to open it. I'm going to give Jackson some of the doubles throughout the month, but for that one, I think I'm going to save that and like somehow try to practice mailing, and I'm going to mail that to my cousin Jess. Wow, I did pretty good at speeding through those, to be honest. I'm pretty proud of myself. Okay, that was our uh, Advent section of the vlog. I hope that you enjoyed that. I actually enjoyed that. Um, after reading all of your comments today, it sounds like people are interested in me doing a Pokemon advent calendar. So I actually went on eBay to look for booster packs and I found I could buy a booster box that has 36 packs and it's like, it's so much cheaper. It's like less than $3 a pack. It was like $2.60. Right now packs are about $4.19 at Target. So I tried to go buy that and then I found out that my eBay account had been suspended. And I don't know why, after I looked back at my email, I think somebody tried to hack into my eBay account. So I'm going to have to call them tomorrow and see if I can unsuspend it. But And I think it might take a while to get the Pokemon cards shipped. So I might have to look elsewhere for other options for the booster packs since I can't get them on eBay. Hang tight, guys. I am going to do a Pokemon advent calendar. Somebody said in the comments that they have an actual one. I tried to look that up on eBay as well, and it looked like a food calendar. I, I got kind of confused as to what it actually was, but I still think somebody should make a legitimate, like... Honestly, I think I could make a business on like Etsy or eBay just creating my own advent Pokemon calendars and selling them because that's not really a thing, but it totally could be a thing. Like if you made a box that was like a little bit bigger than this, you could literally like you could do a Pokemon advent calendar that was like maybe deeper and then you put the packs in sideways instead of flat. You put them in sideways like a locker. What a great idea. I wish that I was good at, at creating things because I would totally create that. Or like, you know what I really like? I like the things where you punch, you punch a hole in it and you take it out. Ooh. Maybe I'll see if I can buy one of those because they do sell them. Okay, sorry guys. I don't know how long this vlog is going to be. I apologize. I'm going to practice of making them quicker and getting to the point on things instead of just like rambling. But I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Sorry, it was a little bit weird. It was like me shopping and then advent calendars, which I feel like that is what my life is. It's either shopping or it's arcade and then it's going to be advent calendars. Um, be on the lookout tomorrow. I think I'm going to be putting together Jackson's goodie bags because the stuff should be coming in either, it either came in today or it's coming in tomorrow. And so I'm going to put together goodie bags for his birthday party on Wednesday and then we'll be at the arcade on Wednesday, which is super exciting for half off Dave and Buster Wednesday and Jackson's birthday, but half off games, yes. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed uh, day two of Vlogmas. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!